Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. <clears throat> so today I'm going to try something completely new. This new gadget is all Robert's fault for bringing it to my attention. I didn't even know this was even out there. Um, of course you guys all know I love Ninja. And I absolutely love um, the Instapots because Instapots are stainless steel on the inside. I do not like nonstick or aluminum things just as a personal preference myself. Um, so we, I have been trying to figure out, and this is, he found, he told me, I don't know, probably around Thanksgiving, Christmas, somewhere. And I'm like, oh, do I need it? Do I really need it? Do I, you know? So this came in the other day and I thought, okay, you know, cause as I'm starting to do a little bit more crock pot meals and it's, I know it's just, it's in my head, but because I'm, I like my Ninja possible, don't get me wrong, but to me, that's nonstick on the inside. And the longer you cook in a nonstick, I don't know, it's just, it's just me. And if I feel more comfortable with the stainless steel, and if this works out, if not, I'll go back to Amazon. Um, but I think I'm going to like this. I kind of, when I open it up, I'm like, wow, this thing is massive. But when I was looking at it, <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of, being able to cook with my stainless steel pans on the stove. So I'm just gonna just feel better all around. So this is an actual uh, Instapot Rio seven and a half quart. Now they do have it in, I believe, uh, six quart, but it's not wide like this one is. Um, I was wanting something wider, because um, even when we cook for just the two of us, that's why I have that other crock pot that's the casserole one. Because things can be spread out further and they're not all combined in that one little area. So I'll bring you down here and I'll show you what we're doing here. And they don't have, at this time, they don't have any extra accessories. They don't have the extra, um, uh, uh, I forget what these are called right off the bat. But I did call them because <clears throat> I wanted to see if they had an extra insert. Um, I like to have extra inserts because if I were to use this one instead of my six quart, six and a half quart over there, if I'm doing yogurt, this ties up this for a very, very long time. So I don't want to do that. So what I'm going to be doing is it's got all these different um, features down here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and start the saute. Now, Anyone knows that's been watching me, I pre-cook my hamburger and I put it in the freezer. So all I have to do is pretty much warm it up with a meal that I'm actually cooking. So because I'm gonna kind of make almost a double batch and Mark likes a lot of hamburger and it's chili. So I will let him have more hamburger and it's chili. I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of the frozen onions. Go ahead and use what's left in there. And I have some frozen um, green peppers. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go ahead and let this saute for a few. And I'll stir this up right now. I have my tomatoes, my beans, and everything setting out here. So as you can see, let me bring this up. You can see how nice and big <clears throat> that's gonna be able to be. So I'm about that and like I said I'm very excited about the stainless steel part um, I was an instant person well before I mean I had ninja vacuums but you know what I'm saying as far as um, the foodie and stuff they didn't have those at first I started off with an instant pot so I'm gonna go ahead and get this sauteed up and I will bring it back once that's done throw the rest of the stuff in here and we'll make ourselves some chili Okay, so the, the meat and the vegetables are cooked. So I am going to go ahead and shut that off. Get the cancel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw in, I don't know where my big can is, so I'm just gonna use two small cans of tomato sauce. Do this one with a can opener. 
All right, so then I have a mixed can of my beans, which is kidney and um, red beans. Put two cans of that in here. And so far, I'm really liking this. I, like I said, it makes me feel like I'm cooking on my stove, but I'm not, you know. There's the rest of that sauce, but that sauce is super thick. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in a can of the green chilies. And then I'm going to put in a quart of my canned tomatoes. Kind of give that a little bit of a stir so you can see what's going on here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the minced garlic. Put in some chili powder. All right. And then cumin. I never used to put cumin in, but I started making like a uh, a Wendy's copycat type thing. So put in some pepper. I'll taste this later and see if I'm going to need any any sugar in here. Sometimes I will add beef broth or, you know what, I'm get my new machine all dirty. I'm going to go ahead and just because I can, I am going to go ahead and throw in That's, that was beef the first one. Obviously, anyone who's ever done this as a child, you never eat those again or even try to beg your mother for one. You do it once and that's, that's it for a lifetime. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. And I won't be adding any more salt because that bouillon cube will be making this kind of salty. All right, but that looks nice and thick. I don't think I'm gonna to need to add anything else to thin it out. We don't like super runny um, soup at all. So I am going to get this out. Because along with, they don't have the silicone ring, that's the name of what I couldn't think of, and they don't have an extra liner. They also don't have a lid. But I use this in another pan, so this works just fine. I tried that out when I first got it. And um, so we'll go ahead and put this on. We'll put this on um, slow cook here. And that's on medium. It one more time if it goes to if it goes to okay you do the temp button and this is not gonna be cooking for six hours but I'll go ahead and hit start and um, it will start to do the cook and we will see how good this is gonna be I'll bring you back uh, when I can see if I need to have uh, any sugar put into this, but so far it looks okay. I won't think I'm going to need it. All right, so this has been cooking for almost, well, about a little over four hours. So that should be more than fine. And I don't know for sure if you can, yep, you can see that. And Mark did try this when he got home because sometimes my taste is not all the way um, there. A lot of times it is now, but sometimes it just isn't. But I'll show you here. And that is the chili. So I think that turned out pretty good. Um, we did add a little bit more salt and pepper to it. That was it, right? Just salt and pepper. Yep. Um, 
he wanted a little bit more salt and pepper to his, you know, to the whole thing. Um, so that's what we did. I like to have cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up my half gallon of cheese. I don't know if Mark wanted to give you a taste test or not. He says he don't want to be on film today. Okay. I don't ever make anybody ever be on film if they don't want to be. So that's what it's looking like, the chili with um, the cheese. All right. So um, Robert, who was responding on a different video, and he asked me, why is it that I do not like nonstick? And you guys all might have the same questions because I complain about the inserts to the combi ovens and you know certain things like that and if I can I use glass stainless steel um, cast iron or the cast iron enamel um, I grew up actually using uh, my first pans I remember was always non-stick well because I always cooked on high Things would stick, things would burn, and it's before I learned how to properly take care of my pans. So I ruined a lot of pans because you can't sit there and scrub it forever and you can't soak it for days. Eat Well, you, you can, but you know what I'm saying? So um, not only is nonstick really not good for you, I'm sure probably nothing is good for you. But um, the nonstick really is not that good for you, and I prefer to not cook on it if I don't have to. And that even goes for the stuff inside the, the combi. I don't like cooking on aluminum, like baking sheets. Um, almost all my baking sheets, even um, cupcake pans, are actually either glass or stainless steel. Um, it's just a, it's a matter of preference for myself. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of weird like that, it's just um, when I've read as an adult, you know, what the nonstick does and what it can do to you, my whole family still uses a nonstick, and you know, I mean, it's not good or bad per se. I'm not saying, oh my gosh, stop using the nonstick, but it's something if I don't have to, and if I can use things and it's actually um, the stainless steel or whatever that I feel comfortable with, that's how I'm going to feel a little bit more comfortable. Now, so far, um, I really like this pot so far. I mean, the chili looked amazing. Um, it's probably still too hot. Let me see if I can. Have a little itsy bitsy bite so I don't burn my mouth off. Tastes good. Um, there for a minute, chili was tasting really funky. Um, I didn't like it at all. And I wasn't eating anything with like tomatoes on purpose. Um, but I really like how big it is. I mean, I have obviously my six quart, my eight quart, my three quart Insta Pots. But this almost kind of reminds me of almost like a 10 inch fry pan where I know I can cook bigger things or spread things out further. I kind of really like that idea. And it obviously is a pressure cooker too. Um, but if you guys are always wondering why, though obviously the nonstick and the things that I got, kind of got a little bit crazy on, that's just why. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason behind it or whatever. It's just my personal preference and, you know, everybody has their personal preferences. So um, if you've ever uh, made your chili in a regular instapot you let me know on, on slow cook like i said i've never i don't think i've ever done it on slow cook i've always pressure cooked it and of course i get the burn error um <laughs> tomatoes burn very easily in the um, instapot um when you're doing that so i don't try to make my chili actually in the instapots unless i did slow cook but i don't know for sure if i've ever made slow cooked chili I don't know. I always would break out my, my slow cooker. So anyways, let me know in the comments down below um, what you think about this Reno. Um, I'll put a little tag down there below um, in the pinned messages. Um, I got that off Amazon, but I think, I, I think I'm going to probably like it. I think I'm going to probably definitely keep it. They just need to get more liners, more of the silicone rings and accessories that will actually fit inside of this. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.